Welcome back. As we promised, we are going to cover the Egyptian celebration of the Martyrs' Day. We annually celebrate the Martyrs' Day on the 9th of March as we are commemorating the martyrdom of uh, a former Army Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Abdelmanam Riyad, who fell martyr um, among his soldiers on the 9th of March 1969 and to shed more light on the important event and on uh, the celebration which took place yesterday. We are very much delighted to have with us by phone Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, writer and journalist. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. A very good morning. Thank you for having me. This is a more, uh, I am even more delighted to have, uh, to, being, to being with you today on a very significant day and a significant memory in our, uh, in the history of our army and our nation our, and our state. Our modern history, right you are, sir. And before going into detail, since you said that, what's the importance of uh, celebrating or marking the Martyr's Day and to make sure that even the head of the state is keen to attend the ceremony and to address the gathering, to address the nation? Well, I feel that Mr. President Abdul Fattah Sisi was uh, talking from his heart uh, the usual way when he is talking to uh, the army leaders as, we, as he is speaking to, to a nation made of soldiers, and we are proud to be soldiers in an army, the best soldier or, uh, soldiers on earth, led by a great leader and a great president, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi is leading uh, the new state, uh, the new republic, uh, to achieve uh, what uh, great leaders uh, have achieved uh, with their nations and their countries for decades. Uh, we are building this new republic for decades uh, to come, for, for years to come, for generations to come. I felt his, uh, each one of us, he felt, uh, here he was talking, talking about uh, the, the importance of the event, the memory, of the martyrs, of the great martyrs of our army, uh, who um, sacrificed uh, their lives for us to live, uh, for the for the nation, for the country, uh, to live and to go on to march uh, towards victory that we have achieved uh, in October in uh, 1993, 6th of October, uh, and another victories are waiting for us to achieve. Uh, the war is not over with our uh, enemy. It, it's going on right now in, in other ways, in other uh, streams, on other levels. But we are still at war with the same uh, enemy and other uh, supporters. Let me take it from enemy. here, sir, because the president was keen to make this connection, as you've rightly mentioned. And Egypt introduced, um, uh, let's say, thousands of martyrs through decades, starting with the, the 1948 war to defend the Arab causes, moving to 1956, to 1967, to the attrition war, to the um, 6th of October war, and he also mentioned the 10 years of fighting terrorism in which, unfortunately, our martyrs paid their souls as a dear price to defend the nation against another big threat, which was terrorism. How do you see connecting this with that and taking into consideration that they are all equal in front of us and that those martyrs starting from 1948 are going to remain in the hearts and minds of our um, of the Egyptian and Arab Islamic nations. Well, the the, the holy blood of the of the martyrs of our uh, army uh, are the most uh, power to push us forward and to make us believe that those uh, martyrs didn't die in vain. They uh, they have died and sacrificed their lives for us to go on and continue the struggle. The war, Mr. President, has just tackled on this, this very uh, lighting and uh, shining fact that we have ne never stopped truly uh, war in so many levels, on so many generations, as, as we have uh, mentioned always uh, the past uh, 10 years, the, the new expression, the, the fourth generation of war and the, and the fifth 
uh, generation of war. We are at war in somehow, in some way. And the, the most important evidence that we have uh, been at war since uh, 10 years, the war against terrorism. The war against terrorism was, was, was not just against uh, some terroristic groups, but they were against the, the, the masterminders and uh, the creators of ter terrorism from abroad, from the West, from this, from this unit existence that have supported terrorism uh, and terroristic uh, groups uh, in Sinai and, and all around us in Libya, in Yemen, in Syria, in, in Iraq. And those uh, evil powers, those vicious powers that are supporting terrorism are the, 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 the main supporters uh, of Zionism. And uh, we are at war with Zionism. And uh, those who have created uh, and manipulated uh, the religion, the great religion uh, of message of Islam, into another thing, another, totally another uh, cause, which is uh, terrorism, which is uh, Islam is innocent of any uh, such, uh, such uh, manipulation or a deviation uh, from the, the, the true uh, right uh, uh, religion. At the time that bolsters groups had nothing, have nothing to do with Islam. Sir, exactly. also the president was keen to um, ask or urge the Egyptians to unite together and not to let any kind of strife uh, um, interfere or um, separate us in a way, meaning that um, we should learn from the martyrs or inspired by them to be accurate um, with more resilience, more will to continue on the right path, more uh, will to, um, to achieve uh, progress and to achieve sustainable development, not only for the sake of us, but for the sake of the coming generations. How do you see the martyrs as a source of inspiration, sir? Well, I'm, I believe that uh, all terroristic groups in, uh, that have uh, emerged on the surface uh, in Egypt and other places all around the world can only uh, be uh, emerging in, in, an, in, in a corrupted environment. That have happened. <laughs> That's what has happened in the, in the past era, in the past uh, regime. That's when uh, such um, uh, ruthless um, vicious trees that have uh, was well, cultivated on our soil by outer hands on a very uh, on a very critical time of our, of our life. Mr. President of Tahsisi has mentioned something very important here that he have received the country as if there is no country. He, it, uh, the country was lacking all sources, true sources, sor uh, sources or, or or pillars of true country or true state that was uh, as, as, a, as a result of the, uh, of the corrupted environment that have led into uh, such uh, results of uh, and witnessing the emerging of, of the uh, terroristic uh, organizations like the non-Muslim Brotherhood organization and other uh, organizations connected to. Right now, we are fighting to build and to uh, rebuild our own country, our own state, our own republic, for not just for us, for generations to come. We are uh, accomplishing what should have been accomplished uh, half a century before. And we are right now uh, reconnecting what we have started by the revolution, uh, 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 July 23rd, uh, uh, the 1952 uh, revolution, we are connecting to what we have started then. We are starting again. To, we, we have uh, uh, accomplished the mega project, the mega uh, project that uh, is uh, spread all over the, the country, from Sinai to, uh, to Upper Egypt, to Alexandria, to Marsa Matruh, to Al Daba, uh, the new. Uh, uh, um, nuclear power station in love we have uh, regained uh, the the most strength of our own army as a, the strongest army in the region again 
Uh, we have now, we and are the now, president uh, said it that all power. the promises he had given to Egyptians they did not change, and he is going to continue working for the sake of the country. And um, whenever it comes to that, sir, um, I should um, ask you about the transparency the head of a state is always speaking with. I mean, to uh, to confess that we do have problems, that, we, uh, that there are global crises um, with the very negative impacts, starting with the COVID-19, with the Ukrainian-Russian war, and with the, the Israeli genocide war in Gaza. All these crises are um, inevitable, and we have nothing to do with them. But to ask the Egyptians to work and work, and to unite together, and expressing full confidence that we can overcome all these crises, this is something saying a lot from the head of a state, if you agree with me on that. Well, of course, I totally agree. I couldn't agree more. And I believe that uh, the unity of the nation that have happened on the, on the day of uh, July uh, 3rd, uh, 1913, uh, as the call of the of the uh, the president Abdel Fattah as he was uh, the leader of the army then i believe this is the golden moment that we ha we have all touched and reached out and uh, we were fulfilled with true unity as one nation of soldiers against one leader of this army a, a, a whole army and a whole nation of, of soldiers that's how only we can achieve victories each and every was each, each and every one of us you in your place you me on my post uh, each and every citizen on his post on the on the on the on the battle uh, front with with our works with our efforts with our devotion to the target and our devotion to the cause which is building the, our own nation not divided to any any uh, political division or uh, other ways we need to, to unite our efforts and to believe that we have we were created as soldiers and we uh, only by believing in that uh, concept we can build our own country we can build it again and again and we have already achieved a lot we, we have witnessed and uh, confronted many crises like the corona and uh, the the epidemic uh, uh, crisis and other and the wars all around and the war again, uh, right now in, in Gaza Strip uh, against the, the Zionist existence aggression, aggression. and the, the, the powers behind the aggression we are confronting all those now we, we are fighting against the dollar currency right now the dollar currency that represents the, the main vein of our own enemies and we are fighting a very strong and uh, honorable uh, war against those powers. We are building our own economy, and, and without our belief in our leadership, and our military leadership, and our military uh, economy. Without belief in ourselves and our capabilities, we can achieve nothing. And this is sure. exactly what the president said yesterday. But also, he asked the um, all media outlets to make sure that they they are conveying the right message and spreading more awareness, not by deceiving people, but to tell them all the facts, all the truth, as he is doing in all public occasions and seizing the opportunity when he is addressing the nation to speak in, in detail about our real circumstances and about what's going on on the ground. How do you see the role of media, Mr. Am? Well, the role of media is, that, is transparency on how to be that soft power, that, uh, <coughs> that golden bridge between, uh, between, between the leadership and the nation. That role should be played, should be uh, taken care of as a first priority. Without such media, without such uh, transparency in the message of the, of the media, uh, we will lack the, 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 true, the, the, the true vision of what we are going, uh, or, or what we are coming from and going to. And that's why we need to strengthen the pillar of our own media of uh, talking to the people and uh, uh, transparing and uh, carrying the messages from ordinary citizens 
in, in the villages, in the small cities, all the way to the leadership. We need for the media to touch the true problem in the people's lives and uh, transport it and transport it and carry it all the way to the leaders. And on the, on the other hand, they should take the, the, the speeches of the president and uh, carry it to the people and make it clearer to those who didn't understand it and repeat it and to make it as a, a true constitution of our own life. Also, That's sir, a the speech yeah. like yesterday. Yeah. Also, uh, the head of the state, the supreme commander of the armed forces, was keen to honor some of the families of our martyrs and have this direct dialogue with them, making sure that uh, they, um, they are sure that they are in the hearts and minds of all Egyptians and that the sacrifices of uh, their heroes and our heroes are not going to go in vain or are not going to be forgotten by all Egyptians, starting from the head of the state to the layman in the street. How do you see this, sir? A very human, humanitarian and a very heroic feeling. Me as a person, I believe I just would, I would dare, I would long to, to go, uh, go and uh, pass away from this life as a martyr. It's, it's a feeling that's uh, cultivated in each and every Egyptian person. And I, I believe that Mr. President himself, he feels the same. He feels that the, 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 the families of the martyrs, uh, as they are proud of uh, their heroic uh, actions, as they're feeling uh, missing, of course, uh, the, the, uh, those uh, great soldiers who have died uh, for the greater cause of this country. Mr. President represents the sound and the tongue of the nation when he is honoring those families. As we are, each and every family uh, in Egypt, uh, they, have, they have in their uh, record one or two at least of the martyrs and uh, each one, each family of us, are owners. Is owner to have one and to, to give more and more. We can never stop giving martyrs because because this is the other side of the war, our other side of the struggle of uh, protecting our own national security, our own uh, lands that are much um, important than life, than life itself. I believe, Mr. President, really touches the heart of the nation when he is meeting with the families of the martyrs and reminds us that the marshes didn't stop. The march is going on, and we are going on fighting on all levels, economically, politically, even, in, even militarily, uh, if, if we need today, if we, if we need tomorrow, if we need each and every uh, member of this nation is ready to, is ready to be a martyr for defending uh, his country, our country. And also to send a message to the new generation, sir. I mean, um, uh, Field Marshal um, Abdel Manam Riyad, um, I'm sorry, Lieutenant General Abdel Manam Riyad, fell martyr more than f 55 years ago. But we are going to remain remembering and commemorating his martyrdom forever. I mean, exactly. these are things which are not going to be that old or oh this was long ago no for centuries of years the egyptians are going to remain commemorating those figures they are going to remain as um as the um, and as points of sources of light and and pride to all of us this is another message sent to the new generations that those martyrs will never die in our memory and they are going to remain for them and for generations to come a source of pride. How do you see this message, sir? I, I, to I totally agree with you. Uh, the great Marshal Abdel Menam Riyadh, he was a great leader that the enemy didn't believe, didn't believe that he uh, could uh, um, get him uh, on the day he, that, that he was uh, died. Uh, bravely on the on the very first uh, line of front against the enemy, he didn't believe it. He didn't believe that a great marshal can just stand among the the the, 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 the common soldiers on the first line or at front on the front of fighting. This is the example the, that Egypt has uh, delivered to the whole world that marshals could, could shouldn't be hiding. 
uh, behind the the, the 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 army lines, but they are leading the army the the army lines, and they are confronting the the, the soldiers of the enemy by yeah. open heart and open chest. Uh, that concept uh, should be revived. In Simply, our or our or our soldiers or our army personnel are martyrs in process. And this exactly. is their creed, their belief, whether to achieve victory or to fill martyrs. This is exactly. something which did not change for thousands of years. And uh, we hope that we are not going to go into wars. We are going to all the time uh, feel uh, that, uh, that uh, proud of our martyrs and of our uh, army personnel that they defend the nation and they keep us feel safe, secure, and enjoying stability. Well, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, thank you very much for your input, sir, and have a very good day. And by the way, uh, Lieutenant General Abdul Manam Riyad, Phil Martyred, in the age of 49, he was not that old, and he was all the time among his soldiers in the battlefield. One of the very brave um, images, very brave role models we have in our modern history. Right after the short break, we are going to return back with more. Stay tuned.